Hello again, everyone. Hope you are well on this Wednesday afternoon. Things have turned violent with these protests, these university anti-Israeli protests. I said it was going to happen. It's happened. I said last week, somebody's going to get hurt. And they have. And it will continue. If this continues to be allowed, it will continue and get worse. I'll go into that. Also, some news that if this happens, y'all, what they're planning to do, what they're planning to do next would end us, would end this nation as we know it more quickly, quickly, faster than anything that, that I can think of that's going on right now. It would speed it up. Okay, I'll go into that. But also, some hope. I saw a video, you've probably seen, you may have seen it, from our young people that gives me hope, y'all. Gives me a lot of hope. I also have a very good passage that I will share with you. A strong passage. Okay, so stay tuned for that. First, these things have turned violent. Uh, UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles, these protests. And, and in these schools, you know, they've been allowed to do this. You know, and the administrations and the president has just allowed this to continue. I'm not surprised, really. And somebody was was bound to get hurt and they have like last night the police are finally trying to crack down on these they're destroying property taking over schools it's insane but an Israeli or Jewish student a young lady was beaten unconscious yesterday she's in stable condition looks like she's gonna make it and that's good by these protesters Later on, a group of about 200 pro-Israeli counter-protesters attacked this encampment of Palestinian, pro-Palestinian uh, protesters, and that was a big brawl. It was a big fight. And, and you know, it, that, that hap that's going to happen. It's definitely turned violent, and it's going to continue. Sounds like you, you definitely have anarchy there at UCLA. It's a shame. Damn shame. It's being allowed. Definitely. There is hope. There is hope, y'all. University of North Carolina, UNC, y'all might have seen this. This looks like it's going viral, but so what happened is the flag on the university, the American flag was taken down by these agitators and replaced with a Palestinian flag. These idiots. I know they're probably not all students, but a lot of them are. First of all, if you did that, you should be deported to Gaza for a while. See how it works out for you. Spend six months there in Gaza. And if you make it out alive, how do you like that? Spend some time over there in those countries. I don't think you like the result. Anyway, they, they replaced the American flag with the Palestinian flag. A group of students and fraternity brothers saw this start to make some noise about it. Like, no, it's not happening. So the administration decides to fix this and say, okay, okay, we're going we're gonna to replace. We're taking down the Palestinian flag and we're, we're putting up the American flag back up. So American flag goes back up. And these pro, these uh, pro Palestinian uh, protesters come back come back to it and try to take it down again. Not so fast, my friend. The students saw this. Or another group of students saw this and said, "Nah, not happening on our watch, man. Not happening again." And they gather around the flag and the flagpole. It's fraternity brothers and other students, Jewish students, and protect the American flag while singing the national anthem. There were other students around in the crowd with American flags also. And they stood there for hours protecting it. They were taking hits from water bottles, sticks, but they stood firm. These are students, kids, taking it, taking the abuse. If you haven't seen it yet, look it up. It's pretty easy to find. 
UNC students protect the flag, fraternity brothers protect the American flag. I tell you, it gives me some hope. It gives me some hope. It really does. I know it's one event, but, you know, it really does. All right, this story right here, y'all, I'm, I'm telling you, and I know some of y'all were sending me this story too late last night. And So Brandon is considering flying refugees from Gaza here. You heard that right. Now, I'm sure within this group, there are probably some okay people. But we don't know who. You're going to fly hundreds, thousands of them in here. Just fly them straight in. Federal U.S. agencies are planning to resettle Palestinians from Gaza. Like I said, fly them into the U.S. They're going to get housing assistance and have an easy path to citizenship. This is this would be deliberate destruction, of course. I know this shouldn't be a big surprise. Deliberate destruction of the country accelerated. I mean, add that to the already increasing invasion. Now, these are... Keep in mind that countries like Egypt and Jordan are saying, no, you can't come here. They're not accepting them. But we are. What do you think is going to happen? Are they going to assimilate into society like they did back in the day, back when the Italians and the Germans and the Irish and you name it, came into Ellis Island? You think they're going to just come here and be productive? And go through and get and actually be citizens? There might be a few. I'll give you that. There might be some. But do you think even a majority, even 15%, 10% will do that? More than, more than maybe more than a few percent? I, I, I doubt it. This is unbelievable. If he's allowed to do this, he's, he can pretty much do anything. I mean, any, pretty much anything. I mean, think about that. And it's just going to be allowed? Who's looking out for us? Where are the Republicans? I don't hear enough from pastors either. Where are you? Why aren't you calling stuff out too? You have a big platform, much bigger than what I have, that's for sure. Where are you? I don't know where they are. Also, the number, this is a report, a number of Chinese nationals crossing the southern border has increased 7,000% just in 2024, y'all. Think about that one. Again, I, all these people, even half of them coming in here to get a better life? Maybe some, I don't know. Not when, dang, 99% of them look like young, military-aged, single men. Can't tell me that. I never believe that. I never believe they're here for good. Are they here to do harm? I would say yes. I would say yes. This is an invasion. This is... This is an invasion from antiquity. This is an invasion without firing a shot. It continues, and it is continuing to be continuing to be allowed. And it's got to be deliberate. I can't explain it any other way. Demonic deception, a delusion has fallen on these folks. I don't know. Damn demons. I don't know. I gotta go to a verse because I don't know. I, I I tried to I tried to slip in some positive there with the frat brothers, with the fraternity brothers, and the Jewish students. 
that is a bright spot. Let's hold on to that. A lot of people are like, country's gone. And I know, as we know it, it's going that way. I, I, I get it. I know. But not so fast, my friend. Seeing the young people stand up. We can only pray we see more of it. Yeah. All right. Going to the verse. Amos. Amos. Amos chapter 5 verse 24 says but let but let justice flow like water and righteousness like an unfailing stream that's a short one but I'm going to sit and read it again <clears throat> but let justice flow like water and righteousness like an unfailing stream some justice about to be brought down y'all sure is sooner or later probably involving this little country right here of ours it's coming best thing we can do is our number one prep which is spiritual continue to do the other preps your security your self-defense your provisions your water all that please continue a little bit at a time each time you go to the store grab a little extra it doesn't bust your budget that way. But your self-defense, your self-awareness, your uh, your security, it's got to be top of mind as well. But number one is spiritual preparedness. Stay close to Jesus. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. Because he knows our name. He knows your name. That's the good news. That's the good news. Hold on to that. Ultimately, we are citizens of Christ. We are. That's the good news. Let's hold on to it. There is hope. Share your thoughts. Stay in prayer. And be careful out there. God bless you. I will see you soon.